Hi again. Let's continue talking about the calculator. So in the last video, I used auto layout to position these UI views so that they fit themselves across the screen and resize to take up, you know, equal spacing vertically. So now what I want to do, and, and these are going to represent the, uh, the rows of buttons in the calculator. So now what I want to do is I want to add columns of buttons into each one of these views, okay? So let's put the preview away for now, come back to it later. And what I need to do is I need to, uh, to add some buttons, okay? So uh, here's a button right here. We'll just use the UI button, and I'm going to drag it into the first row, okay? And I'll have four of these going across when I'm done. So, so this button right here, you know, when I look at it, if I go to this little sidebar here, okay, you'll see that the UI view is this element and, and the button is nested inside it. So that means the button is sort of a child of this view, okay? So the view can determine the layout for the button and we can use the view as reference, you know, as a reference point for the button, okay? With, with auto layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this button and make it a little bit bigger like this. And I'll drag it until it you know, snaps to the bottom edge there. And I'm trying to make it about a quarter of the size of this of the width here. And maybe to make this a little easier to, to read, you know, to see the area of the button there, I'm going to go to the inspector here on the right and I'll set the background color of my button to, uh, I'll just pick a color, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'll pick this uh, transparent red color there, right? And there's my button, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, Option key and drag the button. You could also just drag another button out of the, um, out of the palette there, but uh, I'm gonna size this guy so he's about halfway, because then, I know that I have enough room for two more, but uh, you know, if I drag it out of here, then I'll have to set the size and the um, the background and stuff. So I'm gonna just option drag again, and there's three, and then I'll do it one more time and make a fourth one. Okay, and so my sizing wasn't perfect, but uh, that's pretty close. So I'll just space them out until they're about you know one pixel apart here. Okay, so there's my button. We'll, we'll worry about the labels later, right? I'm just worried about the layout now. So now that I've got the buttons there, let's apply some auto layout, okay? So for the first button, I'll go to the menu here, the pin menu, and I want to pin this button so that its left edge is against the left edge of its super view, okay? And the top edge is at the top edge of the super view, and the bottom edge is at the bottom. Okay, so uh, so that, that determines these three edges. We still don't know the width though, so that's not enough constraints for auto layout to do this. So what I'm gonna do is once I've got these three edges pinned, I'm gonna, op I'm gonna control drag across and set equal width. So all these buttons will be equal width when we're done, okay? So there we go, there's three constraints. And then I'll control drag to the next button and choose equal widths. Okay, and then the next button now, and, and if I, uh, let me actually go get the, uh, the um, preview here, and you'll see in the preview, let me make the preview a little bit smaller, um, we'll just preview on the iPhone 4 here, and you'll see on the preview, um, I have a little bit of trouble here because, you know, the size, the button thinks it's this big, which is the width of the text. That's the intrinsic width, right? So the button needs to be wide enough to have this text, but otherwise it doesn't know how wide it is, right? And since I set the width here equal to this button, but this button doesn't have any options to set its size, then, you know, this guy's not going to get any information from that, right? So let's continue. So so this, we got to set the constraints on all these buttons until they're going to, you know, before they're going to look correct. So on the second button, let's set the spacing here. So I'm going to control drag and choose horizontal spacing. So that should space these guys out so they keep that one pixel spacing. 
then I'll go to the pin menu and pin the top and the bottom edges. Add two constraints. And now this is looking pretty good, right? And now let's go on to the next button. So this button, I'll you know, control drag across and set him to equal widths with his neighbor. And maybe we'll do the spacing too. Control drag. I think it doesn't matter which way you drag. Um, here we could have gone from you know the second to the third or the third to the second because they I think they share that constraint. Um, I'm not an expert on auto layout by any measure. It's pretty complicated. So I'll pull up the pin menu and then I'll pin the top and bottom to the uh, top and bottom of the super view. Oh look, there's my button. And now let's do the last one. So let's set the last one to equal widths with its neighbor. And then set horizontal spacing. And now with this one, we'll do the same thing we did on the first one. We'll set the top, the bottom, but this time it'll be the right edge. Okay. So let's pin top, right, and bottom edges. And then there's our buttons, and they're all spaced across. Now, it looks like I have a one-pixel spacing here and then a two-pixel spacing here and here. And we can go and adjust that later when we get into the, um, the, you know, the inspector. So we'll, we'll catch up with that later. But uh, for right now, that's pretty good. So the buttons are spaced out. And if I was to go to another you know, size screen here, like a four-inch screen, then you know, it would still take up the space. And if I rotate the phone... Oh, look, all the buttons go all the way across, right? So that's looking pretty good. And you know what you should do if you really want to learn how to do this on your own is you should do the next four rows by yourself, okay? I'll go through them again quickly here, but you can stop the video, do it on your own, and then come back and watch me do it. Um, so let's, let's do it again. So uh, I'll get, uh, get another button here. I'm going to resize it so it fits the view. And uh, we'll give it a background color. And then let me hide the uh, assistant editor. And then we'll option drag it a couple times here. And we'll do it again. And then I'll size this. I, really what's important here is not so much that we get the size exactly right. Because auto layout will fix the size for us. But what I want to do is I want to get the, the spacing here as close as possible. Even though we can fix that numerically, but I'll get it pretty close there, and then auto layout can set the sizes for us. So now let's go out, go back, and do the uh, the constraints. So here we go. We'll get this guy, and he'll be top, left, and bottom. And then I'll, I'll do the dragging part later. So this one's going to be top and bottom, and this one will be top and bottom and then the last one will be top right and bottom okay and then now let's set the uh, the spacing right so this will be horizontal spacing horizontal spacing horizontal spacing and now let's do the widths equal width equal width and equal width. So that looks pretty good. The, the, the measurement is off, right? You can see that you know this button is pretty close to where it should be, but this one should actually move over where the dotted lines are. So you know what you can do is I'll just select all the buttons. I'll use the shift key here and get all four of these guys. And I'll go to this menu here and um, this is the Resolve Auto Layout Issues you know, menu. So I'm going to go to this menu, 
and I'll choose Update Frames. And what that'll do is that'll rearrange the frames of the buttons here so that they all go to the correct location, to what the constraints say they should be, right? And then that kind of adjusts these guys. Why don't we do it on the top row too, right? And then there we go. Okay, so that's pretty good. These, these, the spacing here is a little off, but like I said, we can, we can fix that later. So let's repeat that process and we'll do it one more time. And I probably could have copied one of the buttons from the upper one, but I'll just do this and uh, we'll set the background color. And then I'll option drag. And option drag. And option drag like that and then we'll set the options let's let's pin let's do it again and one more time and then actually one more time but this time we'll also pin the right side there okay and then let's set the uh, control drag, horizontal spacing, control drag, horizontal spacing. And then on this one, I, you know, I want the horizontal spacing to be one pixel. So I'll just drag that guy over, right? And we'll set the horizontal spacing. And then we'll use auto layout, you know, and to, to you know, that, that resolve auto layout issues button to resize these. So now we need to do equal widths. So let's do equal widths. equal width and equal width okay and then maybe uh, we'll select all these buttons and use the resolve auto layout issues update frames to resize them so that's pretty good and these guys are off a little bit here but I think if we fix the spacing they'll kind of line up and then we'll do it again right so let's go through and do this quickly Set the background color. Right, and then maybe we'll move the sky over a little bit here. There we go. And we'll do some pin menu here. And again, and again, and then one more time, but with the right side. And now we'll do the horizontal spacing, horizontal spacing horizontal spacing, and then we'll do equal width, equal width, and equal width. And then we can uh, select all four of these guys and we'll resolve issues by updating frames. So that looks pretty good. Let's do the bottom row. Okay, so the bottom row actually has three buttons in it. Okay, so uh, here's our buttons, and we'll give it again, we'll give it a background color here. So uh, how about that? And then I'll, you know, oops, wait, I did the control key there. I actually want option key to drag and copy, and then we'll do it again, option key. And this time I've got three buttons, so I'll move the third one all the way to the right. And then maybe I'll just stretch this guy out so that, you know, he's got a one pixel space there. And I, he's off by a little bit, but no big deal. We'll fix it numerically later, right? Okay, so here we're going to do the same thing we did before. So on the first button, we'll pin it like this. 
and then the second button will pin the top and bottom and then the rightmost button we're gonna pin top bottom and right edges and then horizontal spacing and again and then this time we'll do equal widths and equal width okay and so here we kind of have a problem let me actually let's resolve our auto layout issues here and update their frames and now we can see that the buttons are in thirds but actually I want this one to be twice as big as the other two okay so we'll resolve that in the next video but anyway this is pretty good and if we go to the to the preview here um, Hey, there, that looks pretty good, right? Everything's evenly spaced out on the four-inch phone, right? It resizes itself, so I, th I think we're, we're doing pretty well. And there you go.